Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your mid-March 2017 uh, tarot reading. So what I'm feeling here is um, I feel like for some of you, the past three months, there has been a little bit of a hit in your financial sector. I did feel like there, um, you know, in the past few months, I, I felt as if there was a lot of money leaving your hands. And um, it, it could be for, you know, um, social functions, social events. And so I feel like you're getting a better rein into your financial situation or uh, you're, you're reining in your, your expenditures and you're being a little bit more strict with yourself when it comes to, you know, emotional spending or even uh, extravagant spending, which is a great thing that I'd like to see. So I see you recalibrating. I see you sitting down, uh, setting a budget for yourself for some of you, which is good. So I feel like, you know, the money situation is not like you're in the red or anything, but I feel that there has been a lot more leaving your hands than you'd like. Okay, so this is the, the next two weeks you are basically recalibrating and trying to figure out how you can save. Okay, so that's always good to see. Um... I'm also getting a very, very strong uh, spiritual pull for many of you. Uh, you're looking at your options on the table, and I do see a major element here about downsizing, okay? So, for example, you might always um, bought, you know, high-end um, items from this spe uh, specific brand, and uh, that was what you, you went with. That was something that you wanted, and you, you stuck to it. So now I feel like a lot of you are uh, more open-minded when it comes to exploring other brands or even buying things that might be a little bit cheaper, okay? So not that you're, you're doing that because of financial re reasons. You might for some of you, but I feel like the majority of you, uh, you are starting to realize that brands and labels don't really mean anything. It's just a marketing scheme, okay? So I, I feel that coming through where you are a little bit more experimental, willing to try new items, new products, and especially willing to experiment a little bit more with things that other people uh, with things that are not as high value high end or even experimenting with things that people have uh, told you oh don't try that go with the higher price so I feel like you're starting to realize that names and labels and you know prices don't really mean anything it's essentially the same product and while that, that energy is coming through more with items, with food, dining, and items, I, I also feel an element of some of you are working to um, really minimize the amount of calories you're putting in your body as well. So the whole downsizing idea uh, uh, permeates you know, through all sectors of your life. And so I do, do see downsizing when it comes to clothing, um, losing weight, and then needing to buy like a smaller size for some of you and then downsizing when it comes to maybe getting smaller portions or even getting like uh, items that are not so high end so that's good and then in the relationship sector the downsizing I feel is coming through as well I feel a lot of you have been socially dating and um, I do sense you know there are a few people that you are dating that you're just like oh never in a million years like let, let's just say three years ago you would say that never in a million years would I date these people because they're not innately my type. But I feel like you're also being a little bit more experimental, giving people a try, giving people a chance, and uh, dating outside of your usual sorts, which I feel is really good for you. We have an earth sign and an air sign. So uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is more like um, for... Well, for, for Aries people who are dating, uh, what, I, what I sense is that um, these are very, very stubborn people. They're, they're very stubborn, very uh, like just fixed in their ways. And um, I almost feel as if you're coming in, your energy is really strong. And I feel like, you know, you, you generally know what you want. You go right after what you want. But I feel like you're taking more of a laid back approach. And I feel that you are dating outside of your type. So these two people that are coming through, I feel like they're kind of intimidated by you. And especially for, you know, Aries females as well, dating men um, or even dating women. Um, I feel like, you know, the, the people, I, I feel like you're taking the right approach. Sit back and see if they're coming towards you rather than charging ahead. I feel like you're being a little bit more tempered and you're you're taking a little bit of a step back, okay? So which is a good thing. 
overall. Um, they are saying a reunion happening for many of you as, uh, as well. If you have been um, separated from an air sign or a, uh, an earth sign, so these are people from your past, an end to a separation, there will be communication, there will be some news that you're hearing through third parties about an air sign or an earth sign, okay? So I, I do see those elements coming through very strongly. Um, communication coming through, and especially if um, if you have, if they're just like nowhere in your vicinity, you're gonna hear from third parties, which is, you know, friends, mutual acquaintances, oh, I saw such and such, and you're gonna be like, oh, how are they doing? And you're gonna hear some news about, you know, what they've been up to, so that's coming in. Um, I would say that for singles, it is a really, really good time to date for the next two weeks. And very happy birthday to you guys, by the way. It's a really good time to date. It's a really good time to put yourself out there. It's a good time for you to socialize with other people. And um, I also feel an element here where you are very objective for the next two weeks. And, uh, you know, objectivity is, um, it comes from grounding. It comes from being able to... Um, I feel like, you know, harness your energy, pull back your energy and looking at, at a situation critically, okay? Um, it's a mixture of insight and intuition and, you know, learning from the past. So I feel like a lot of you are looking at situations in a more level-headed manner. So you're not jumping off, you know, uh, jumping off, do, getting involved in things. You're not getting into things that are way over your head. I feel like you're being more sensible and practical and just a lot more calm the next two weeks, which I feel is a really good, uh, stable thing in your energy um, level. So I feel like it's a, it's very positive. The foundation of this reading here, we have the Ten of Cups, and especially for those in relationships, there is going to be get-togethers, reunions with family members, loved ones, and, you know, people that are very close and dear to you. So I do see, um, you know, going to, out to get lunch with friends, with co-workers, with people that you haven't seen in a long time. So I do see reunions coming through in a very meaningful way, okay, and I, I feel like um, three people like getting brunch with like, you know, two girlfriends, two guy friends, three people getting together for lunch, dinner, uh, catching up. And it's going to be really, um, I feel like it's making you quite happy. So I feel like smaller group dynamics, but, uh, more intimate. Okay. So best of luck to you guys. Happy, uh, early birthday for those who are celebrating this month. And I wish you the best. Take care.